Like, easy, 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 easy. Another game, another Arsenal defeat, and we're in a bit of a rut, people. People deluded, I'm back again. Now, we just lost a goal to nil against Inter Milan. As I always say, you have to be gracious in defeat. Inter Milan, I don't think you deserve that penalty, but that's nothing to do with you lot. You put the penalty away. I think we're all on top of you in the second half in particular. You read your lot. The crosses are all food and drink. You manage the game. You got the win and you've had a fantastic start to the Champions League campaign. What's that? Three, four clean sheets in four games and I think they've got 10 points. I could be wrong. My maths could be off, but either way, Inzaghi, Inter Milan, doing your thing great stuff even rested players so they got the win they rested players and they still went through people now for Arsenal it, it, it's a game yeah where I'm not gonna lie I think you need to break it down into a couple of pieces I would say first and foremost I'll, I'll start with somewhat the positive I think the performance was there obviously it wasn't because we didn't score we conceded we didn't win but in terms of the performance across 90 minutes I think first 10 minutes it was Inter other than that we grew into the game we did well I think we had Inter pegged in their own half in the first in the second half I almost feel when Arsenal were winning games and more so the Arsenal of last season I think Inter Milan did to us what we normally do to them right so I think the performance was I want to pick my words carefully yeah and I'm not saying get excited because you know I don't do that but I think the performance was a big reaction to Newcastle. I think we gave a decent account of ourselves at San Siro. I don't think we embarrassed ourselves. I think there was intention there, people. So the performance, I think there's something. I think players stood up to be counted. Other than that, though, ultimately, you've got to defend well. I'm being very harsh. I need to watch it again, but we've conceded that free kick. It's led to the pen. I think it's harsh on Mikel Marino. No doubt fans have been piling on, on him anyways, and they're going to get onto him more. Fundamentally, we conceded. Now, that's not so good. Evidently, we conceded. Now, while it's not the end of the world in the Champions League, obviously, we've lost to Inter, we've lost to Newcastle, lost to Bournemouth, got a draw against Liverpool, but people had something to say. Shaq to the same. We're in a bit of a rut and it feels like make or break. And performance-wise, there's some positives you can take into Sunday. Winning the game and fan sentiment, I don't think it's going to be the case. Ikel Arteta, I think your in-game management today wasn't good enough. I'm, you know, you know more about football than me and a lot of people, but we can't all be wrong. Fair enough, Odegaard's just come back from injury and there's certain variables we don't know. But what's a man meant to do in the last five minutes of added on time? Needed to come on before. I think Jesus had a better performance. Nothing to scream a shout about, but a bit rewarded by that at halftime. Ethan should have come on a, a lot sooner. And that's the old, that's the second positive, if anything. Lovely little shoulder drop from him. Couldn't quite apply the finish he did against Preston. Not quite sure how Martinelli... I don't think anyone was terrible, but it weren't good enough. I don't know how Martinelli played 90 minutes. I don't know how Trossard played as long as he did. You know, it, it, it's... We are having chances in the second half, but really and truly, we're not asking any questions of Jan Sommer, who's kept a lot of clean sheets, but looked a bit shaky giving the ball away. We're not asking any real questions. At no point are we saying, what a save, Jan Sommer. Obviously, there was that effort that Denzel Dumfries, quote-unquote, cleared off the line. But other than that, we're getting in the final third. It's really just crossing, which is food and drink to those inter midfield, in, inter defenders. Sorry, You know, yeah, we had them pending their own half. I think the stats would probably suggest we deserved the draw at the very minimum. I'm pretty sure, statistically, at halftime, at the end of the game, we obviously probably dominated possession, passes, shots and corners. But that doesn't mean anything if you can't put the ball in the back of the net. And again, it's got past the point where, don't get twisted, the players have got to have a bit more quality because I do think this is a result of how Mikel Arteta has assembled the squad, how he's tactically set us up, how he's had a lack of game management. Ultimately, the players he brought in are not, they haven't got that quality to get us out of that generally, especially if Saka's having a bad day. But, it, you know, we're all in this together. Our players, I don't think you was terrible. You, you, you reacted to Newcastle, even though we lost. But whether I rate these players or not, yeah, at, in the last two, maybe three years, a lot of you have been protagonists. I've seen a lot of difference makers. I've even seen my defenders pop up with moments of brilliance. But Saka, Trossard, you know, Martinelli, Jesus, Kai Havertz, you've all done things and others as well. You've all done things that have made the difference for this football club. Pardon me, or grabbed the game by the balls or pull it on your shoulders and said, I'm making the difference. Today, I never saw that. Like, it was very predictable. It was very flat. We know crosses we're not doing anything it felt like and i'm not naive it probably isn't but it felt like the same crossing routines 
it did feel like we could have scored. It did feel like we could have got more out of the game. Like in relation to the Champions League, what you know, we we that's what going into the game. I think four games traveling in Italy, failing to failing to score or failing to win. Better yet, that's transpired. That's now five. Obviously, away from home in the Champions League, we haven't done the business. Some you know the rut we're in as a football club. I say rut. You know, you could say a bit of an exaggeration, but the rut or the poor form and the poor sentiment around the club. While I don't feel you should have got excited if we beat Inter, you want to win that. I think Inter was street smart. I just, I, I think we was, I, I won't say we was naive, but we was. Of course, the ref, dodgy penalty. It felt like whoever shouted the loudest would have got free kicks. Ref a bit argy bargy with some of the, 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 the yellow cards, but isolated to the variables we could control. As I said, I think possession was better. I think we looked more threatening based on this last period in for us, but it's still not good enough. It's predictable. You know, we're going to half puff cross. And I think Mikel Arteta needs to go back to the drawing board across several aspects, whether there's been injuries or not. And these players and, and Arteta have to buck up their ideas going into Chelsea and forget Chelsea beyond that. Because you're making things harder than it needs to be. Now, obviously, on paper, that's one defeat in the Champions League. What you beat Atalanta, you beat Shakhtar, you beat PSG. So you've given yourselves a good platform, really, and probably more margin for error than you would in the Prem. But yeah, ultimately, you know, as I said, in terms of shots, shots on target, possession, threatening in the final third, it was a good reaction, but it's still not good enough. And it's just in uninspiring, it's predictable. And Mikel Arteta, I'm very, I'm very upset with the game management. It took far too long to make the subs. Of course, you're the manager. There's been plenty of times us fans have been crying about subs. Subs haven't come on and we've turned the game around. But genuinely, when was the last time we came from a goal, Dan? So I, I, I think you gave a quote-unquote good performance. Mm. Gave a good account of yourselves at the San Siro, but it's a case of what if. But I personally think you sign up for moments like this when you don't do things in the summer market. But the summer's gone. January, I don't know what we're doing. It's been an eventful week. It's been another loss. Edu's ran away. So, yeah, all we can do is lick our wounds and go again, man. Like performance, there's some positive results and the same old issues around game management, creation, ultimately chance conversion. They're still here and they're getting bigger. So, it's one where, as I said, I don't think the performance was terrible, but it, it, we're not in a good space right now, are we? But on that note, people, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, man.